am chintan and today in this video we are learning how to model these mushroom s looking structures now these are from the tmw technical museum located in vienna so let's take a look at how to model these inside of sketchup let's go okay so open up the inches template and first we need to draw a polygon of eight sides you can do that by going to draw then shapes and then polygon uh, right here draw shapes and polygon now you can see it shows a hexagon around the mouse you can change the number of sides that is shown right here number of sides six you could simply type eight and then press enter and that would change the number of sides to eight and then make a octagon of eight sides of eight feet radius after that select this face and offset it using the offset tool the shortcut for which is f for five feet after that select this face in the middle hit delete i have set up d for delete i don't know why uh, maybe because it's closer to the left side of the keyboard after that we need to split this whole shape into quads you can either like natively do it with the help of drawing these lines and then do it all over again and that would give you quads or you could simply download the split tools plugin and that would help you simply by selecting this shape and then if you click on this that says split donut and that would magically divide your whole shape into quads after that select this octagon right here and move it across on like this for four feet six inches after that we need to turn on the vertex tool plugin we have a shortcut for that which is shift plus v and that gives us this gizmo thingy to help us manipulate the vertexes vertexes vertices vertices which is uh shockingly not present inside of sketchup and every other software on the planet that models 3d has it somehow so after that change the number of soft selection radius to zero and then extrude it downwards like this for four inches after that scale it down like this for 0.25 move it across like this and then move it down like this for two feet also then extrude it down like this for 14 feet and then extrude it once again for let's say one feet six inches after that scale it outward like this holding down shift and then move it across like this let's scale it some more move it across uh -huh. and move it across then extrude it down again for let's say four inches again and then again scale it and then again move it across like this now the aim here is to make this whole bottom flappy of the size of this upper flappy so let's scale it again and then move it across like this now you can make it super precise but we are tend to eyeball it and also scale it down like this and then again extrude it down like this for four inches and then again for two feet and then again scale it down 0 0.25 0 0.25 and then move it across like this uh, let's move it some more and with this whole edge selected you can either like draw a line like this to fill or you can simply right click and click on make face 
this is a plugin that helps you fill voids with simple faces like this now select this whole edge we can do this by using the quad tool that has a thing called select loop then bring on the vertex tool plugin and then scale it inside um, let's say 0.75 then extrude it upwards like for 4 inches and then simply fill this face after that now we need to add controlling loops across this whole geometry because we need to subdivide it so select this and if we bring on the quad face tools and if we click on this icon that says select ring that would help us select every edge across this whole ring and then we can simply add a loop like this similarly for this select ring and then insert a loop if you don't have this you can simply like draw a line from this midpoint to this midpoint you know you can do that uh, so select ring insert loop similarly we need to select this one select rings insert loop and after that we can close the quad surface quad face tools and then make it a group by hitting ctrl plus g now if you don't have all these shortcuts that i'm using here you can download my shortcut guide like it is a list of shortcuts that i'm using in all my videos across sketchup so there's a link down below for gumroad it's free if you feel like donating you can okay grab that and after that move this group up like over here and then like it's all reversed so select everything right click and reverse faces and then just select this group bring on the sub d plugin and if you click on this that says toggle subdivision on or off and increase the number of subdivisions by like 3 uh, this gives us the desired shape that we are looking after that we can just close this and hide the axes and turn on the shadows and in this way we can create some geometries that seem pretty impossible to create inside of sketchup like with the help of a few plugins of course so if you found this video helpful or you learned something new please consider subscribing and if you have any doubts you can leave them in the comments uh, or you can also join our discord server that is there and I would see you in the next video. Till then, keep creating. Goodbye.